Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,267 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow if you have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of wisdom. It's a pleasure to have you join me on our journey. Today, our exploration takes us into the profound insight of Proverbs chapter 18, verses 9 through 16 from the New Living Translation. As we delve into these verses, let's seek the timeless wisdom that can guide us in our speech, our attitudes toward learning, and our reliance on the Lord for strength. Without further delay, let's strap on our hiking boots and dive into the wisdom of Proverbs. Verse number 9. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. This first draws a stark comparison between laziness and destructive behavior. How can we overcome laziness and cultivate a diligent spirit? We need to look at cultivating diligence. Recognize the destructive nature of laziness. Cultivate the diligence by setting goals, managing time effectively, and approaching tasks with a proactive mindset. Now let's explore verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. This verse emphasizes the strength and safety found in the name of the Lord. How can we rely on the Lord as our strong fortress in times of trouble? We need to understand that our strength comes from the Lord. Recognize the strength and safety found in the name of the Lord. Rely on the Lord as your strong fortress by turning to Him in prayer, seeking His guidance, and finding refuge in His promises. Verse number 11 speaks of the power of wealth and its limitations. The rich think their wealth is a strong defense. They imagine it as a high wall of safety. This verse highlights the misconception of relying on wealth as our ultimate defense. How can we maintain a balanced perspective of wealth and security? We need to seek true security in the Lord. Recognize the limitations of wealth as a defense. Seek true security in the Lord by acknowledging His sovereignty, trusting in His provision, and understand that ultimate security comes from our relationship with Him. Now let's explore verse 12. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. This verse draws a clear contrast between haughtiness and humility, highlighting their respective outcomes. How can we cultivate humility and avoid the destructive path of haughtiness? We need to focus on cultivating humility in all of our lives. Recognize the destructive nature of haughtiness. Cultivate humility by acknowledging your strength and your weaknesses, valuing others, and embracing a teachable spirit. Now let's turn our attention to verse 13. Spouting off before listening to the facts is both shameful and foolish. This verse highlights the folly of speaking without first understanding the facts. How can we practice wise communication by listening before speaking? Our focus needs to be on our communication and making sure that it is wise. Recognize the folly of speaking without understanding the facts. Practice wise communication by actively listening, seeking to understand different perspective, and refraining from hasty judgments. And finally, let's explore verses 14 through 16. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear a crushed spirit? Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Giving a gift can open doors. It gives access to important people. These verses touch on the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of a teachable attitude and the impact of giving. How can we cultivate resilience, a love for learning, and the practice of giving? This is done by cultivating resilience, love for learning, and being generous. Recognize the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of a teachable attitude. Cultivate resilience by maintaining a positive outlook in our challenging times. Cultivate love for learning by staying curious and open-minded. And practice generosity by giving with a cheerful heart, knowing that it can open the doors and provide access to meaningful relationships. And there you have it, my friends. A profound exploration of Proverbs chapter 18, verses 9-16 through from the New Living Translation. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for cultivating diligence, relying on the Lord's strength, seeking true security, embracing humility, practicing wise communications, and fostering resilience, a love for learning, and generosity. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, remember that this wisdom offers us a guiding light in navigating the complexities of life. 
Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, and to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.